They promised a revolution. In the 1990s, NASA unveiled a next-gen rocket called Venture Star, a fully reusable single-stage spacecraft that would make space travel as common as commercial aviation. They said the shuttle was yesterday. This was the future. Animation clips played on CNN. Politicians praised it in speeches. Lockheed Martin executives promised dramatic reductions in launch costs. The crowd went wild. To prove the idea, NASA funded a test vehicle, the X-33. Half scale, half cost, full ambition. Hundreds of engineers rushed to build it. New materials, new aerodynamics, a never-flown aerospike engine, a lifting body airframe, a rocket that would launch vertically and land like its own shuttle. It was brave, it was intoxicating, it was, in hindsight, a stack of miracles. Because X-33 wasn't a rocket, it was a dozen experimental programs masquerading as one. Composite cryogenic fuel tanks, first of their kind, aerospace skins and tiles never flight tested, propulsion that existed only in wind tunnels. Insiders warned NASA that everything was bleeding edge. GAO reports read like crisis memos, and Boeing's propulsion teams quietly questioned whether a single-stage vehicle could ever reach orbit. But the excitement was too loud to hear caution. The hype machine had momentum, and momentum is hard to cancel in Washington. So the X-33 rolled forward. Factories buzzed. The airframe took shape. Photos show the vehicle sitting on the shop floor, 85% complete. Parts were fitted, avionics installed, landing gear attached. It looked like a real spaceship until the tanks failed. Composite liquid hydrogen tanks cracked and tested. A catastrophic structural failure in the very components the whole mission depended on. NASA and Lockheed tried redesigns, costs ballooned, schedules auto-deleted themselves. And in 2001, after spending over $1.3 billion, some estimates say closer to two, the project was canceled. The vehicle never flew, the concept was shelved, and hardware worth another half billion sits today in storage, a tomb of lost ambition. NASA's post-mortem called it a case study in organizational optimism, over-engineering reality, that's polite language for we let excitement outvote physics. So the benefits, new materials research, better modeling tools, experience with aerospikes, though none ever flew. But VentureStar, the reusable rocket that would make launches cheap, never existed outside brochures. Refunds? Aerospace doesn't do refunds. It does lessons learned. And here's the irony. 20 years later, private companies began landing boosters doing in practice what VentureStar could only sketch. So what killed VentureStar? A pattern we've seen before. Promise big, under fund, stack miracles, cancel when they collide. NASA didn't lack genius, it lacked a culture ready to execute this kind of risk. Which leads to the question, if VentureStar was the future that never flew, can Jared Isaacman save us?